I was so surprised to find rocket, wild rocket in uh, Turkmenistan. It's amazing. <laughs> so I think people like this because they say you are eating like a goat here. <laughs> so <laughs> because I, I really went into an <laughs> excited mood. Uh, uh <laughs> so I kept eating this rocket. <laughs> and. Uh, and I'm surprised that the population here don't eat it. It's not popular. And it's so widespread. Here, in this isolated mountain of Turkmenistan, I found a, cro a, a crop that originated in the Mediterranean. We had no records of rocket growing in Central Asia. So also from a scientific point of view, The work on rocket was part of a project, so-called the Underutilized Mediterranean Species Project, uh, which we focus also on other crop as a case study. Now, what was nice in this project was that it gave us uh, an opportunity to uh, test some of the hypotheses. Can we really promote and be successful to work on these crops that are so-called minor and, uh, and uh, the story of rocket, we have been working also on oregano, um, <coughs> gave us uh, um, quite, uh, make us understand that there was a scope to work at a broader level, a bigger, with a, through a bigger project. So we developed our proposal on a neglect and utilized species, and we submitted it to IFAD <coughs> in uh, 2000, and uh, the project was approved. So we started with a project, a uh, global project, not uh, a Mediterranean species project anymore. And this project focused, okay, on uh, nutritious millets and Andean grains and medicinal plants in Yemen. Uh, our partner in India didn't want to call them underutilized millets or minor millets. He said, we needed to underline the fact that these millets are extraordinary crop from the nutrition point of view. In fact, if you uh, uh, look at the, uh, the list of uh, aspects that characterize the, the traits, you can see a rich, uh, sulfur-rich amino acid. AA is a <coughs> short for amino acid. So these amino acids are very important. You, Lysine amino acid you don't usually find in other staple crop. They have a high mineral content. They are very good protein content. They have a slow release of sugar. So we have been promoting this uh, millets for diabetes people uh, with great success in India. <coughs> and they can grow in marginal land. This is one of the biggest problem in the uh, so-called hill mountains of India. This is marginal lands of India. You can see the diversity. Uh, of course, to be successful, you have to start from the beginning. People, farmers require um, improved varieties because what they use now, it's not improved our material that are susceptible to diseases and so on. So we, we did the selection of the material and we released it to the farmer the next. <coughs> this woman told me through an interpreter that the project was giving them uh, varieties much better performing and those varieties and the, the product from those varieties was used to feed his child and he, she was telling us how look how beautiful is my child and this is also uh, and that uh, nutritional security was also due because of the project so we can be also proud of that uh, one other thing that uh, we have been working was to the elimination of drudgery. Drudgery is a bad word, I understand in English, something like really uh, <coughs> often associated with slavery. In this case, women were uh, slavery of the processing. To be one day pounding this uh, grain to get to the flour is really a tedious job. So we introduced this uh, smilling machine and uh, the woman had uh, no more to, to, to perform such a heavy duty. <coughs> and that was something that was uh, used uh, for householder or also for the whole community. So we created this little community-based unit where people would go 
uh, grind, pay very modest uh, amount and get uh, uh, the grinding done. Uh, this is another also uh, picture I'm very uh, fond of. This is the self-help group, the association of women got together to improve the marketing of uh, these millets. This lady in the middle, she was the leader, not because she was the eldest, but because she was the only one that could read and write the Tamil. She was the keeper of the logbook, the bank logbook. So they were, uh, she was here, you can see in Tamil and the numbers. These are the Indian rupee that they were getting from people going there to process. So uh, these machines and this value addition that we taught them has increased the income generation. And she was very happy because I asked, what do you do with this money that you are gaining? I said, well, we do many things. We help our sisters to marry. And if someone gets sick, we, we help uh, this to treat the illness of this person. So again, there was this wonderful feeling to, be, uh, to have an impact in the project, in the project side. 